Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today in the Strike Eagle, I'm gonna do a night mission and two Vipers are gonna help me out and we got somewhat of a complex situation there. So, okay, let me try to explain what's going on. We got Illusion 76 modified as a spy plane and he's been escorted by two SU-33s and those Vipers are gonna take care of those SU-33s. I'm gonna try to take care of this Illusion and he is connected to somewhat of intelligence gathering station on the ground, which is uh, two early warning stations. And I need to strike them. So I got the Illusion to take care of and those two early warning stations. I'm carrying uh, two paveways to strike that. And uh, it's somewhat of a complex situation because it's this whole area of those uh, early warning stations is protect not protected, but uh, there is a, in the vicinity of that uh, Iskandar missiles, which are kind of a ballistic missiles. Really, really cool. By the way, it's a mod and I cannot recommend it enough. It's from uh, Current Hill. You got a whole website. You guys should check it out. A lot of uh, a lot of great ground stuff over there. So this is the other Viper. I'm just gonna wait for them here. I'm gonna hold short and I'm gonna prepare myself for those takeoff. Here we go. The Vipers are on the move and the Strike Eagle is a very capable uh, striker for the for night. Yeah, I got the Nav Flare. I got targeting pod. I got night vision goggles. It's you know that thing can be the king of the night like easily. And you can see everything. And I can't wait till we get JDAMs. Because with laser-guided laser bombs, you need to laser each and every target, right? But, and there is also an altitude to that, you can do it from really high up. When, we got, when you're gonna get the JDAMs, the thing can carry, like, just on the, on the conformal tanks, can carry, like, what, what is it, 12? 12 JDAMs? And you can put a few more on your uh, central line. It's, it, it's insane. You can strike a whole runway, no issues. You can cover so many targets. It's, uh, it's pretty good. So I'm gonna take off right after those Vipers. And again, my mission is to strike those early warning stations and I got two paveways, which are pretty big bombs and I like them a lot. Really cool. Oh, by the way, yeah, as you hear, we got AWACS. He's is gonna help us. He already sees those, uh, this uh, patrol being escorted by, uh, that solution being escorted by those uh, two SU-33s. Here, the Vipers are taking off. I'm gonna take off right after the number two here. Once I'm uh, gonna take off, I'm gonna, you know, set up everything and we're gonna go fully night mode here. And you're gonna see the nav flare, by the way, is uh, is really well modeled here. It's, you can see a lot and I'll, sh I'll show you how I'm setting it, it up. I, I like somewhat of a contrast. I like uh, the leak of natural lights, not natural, but you know, light from the environment, not coming through the nav flare because I can easily identify what's going on like that. Let me just line up here. Yeah, they're, uh, number two is uh, just airborne right now. Just took off, here we go. Let's line up. Nice and easy. And brakes. All right. Everything is set. Flight control check. The Strike Eagle is modeled very well. Very, very well modeled. It's really fun to fly. Okay, power up. All the way up to 80, brakes release full power I'm I'm a little bit heavy here so it's gonna take a little bit to take off here Ooh, keep it on the central line here try to not a lot of wind but some of it I do need to input some rudder corrections here speed is still coming up and we can start rotating now slowly and we're aboard. gear up flaps up getting a little bit more of a speed so I can uh, climb higher And there it is. And the nav flare, I'm going to turn it on. I like to put the brightness somewhat in the middle there, or just a little bit uh, in front of it, and the contrast somewhere around that, and that's the night vision. We can look through the nav flare in a, in a short while here. I'm going to level out, and then I'm going to kind of fine-tune it so I can see the ground and the leak of the lights around me. And we can turn off the lights. And the master arm can go on. And that's it. We'll just head to the target. We already have radar contact, so the Vipers, I assume, are already starting to uh, engage. Let's uh, let's mess with the nav flare a little bit. So after you turn the nav flare on, you've got those two knobs here that you can twist and turn the contrast and the brightness of that. It actually looks pretty good right now. You can see the leak of the natural light. Not natural light, but you know what I'm saying. Ambient light. I like that because it's it easy 
I, I like to stop the the you know tuning of that once I can see like the texture of the ground it really helps you can, I can see the clouds I can see everything it looks really awesome all right let's fly and uh, catch them on radar and with the IFF here I can identify which target is which and if I'll be able I'll engage all of them I don't really care if the Viper's not gonna do their job I'm, I just want to keep flying straight if the Viper's not gonna do their job fast enough I'm just gonna do my own thing because the Strike Eagle is very capable in BVR Dogfight is another thing, and I would not like to merge with a flanker. Here's the Vipers right there. Yeah, they're already committed to the target. Okay, let's climb up and start uh, working our radar. I'm gonna pull up the teapot here in the multicolored display there. I really like it. I really like it. You also, it's it's kind of similar to the Hornet. The Hornet got the you know the center, uh, the center MPD. MP, how do you call it? MFD, a multicolor MFD. Eh, never mind. It's the same thing. So you're gonna see it, the T pod gonna the targeting pod gonna come out as black and white. It's uh, in my opinion, it's way better. It's easier to spot and look, and the effect actually looks a little bit more pleasant than the green. I already have radar contact here. Unable to lock him yet, shortly will though. Ooh, just adjust the elevation a little bit, it was too low. So the elevation gonna come up. Here we go. Ooh, that's a little bit too much. And there it is, we got radar contact there. So first of all, we're gonna try to lock him. Unable to lock him yet. I'm gonna close the distance while climbing. The Strike Eagle have a very capable radar and it's very comfortable to use as far as they go to all the commands that you can put, like IFF, uh, go to uh, target uh, uh, track wall scan, go to single target track. It's very comfortable to use. It's it's a bunch of commands in the whole test that you're gonna need to memorize, but it's uh, it follows the same logic. So auto acquisition in out, all that kind of good stuff. It's fairly oh, fairly simple. One, Let's request Bogey Dope one, just to see that I'm on target. Here we go. Got him on radar again. Let's try to lock him. Got him locked. Oh, those lights are very bright. <laughs> All right, we got one of them. And I can IFF to see which one he is. So that's going to be a coolie switch to the right. And we have two targets. They already locked him in track while scan. And we're getting closer. I don't know if the Vipers are engaging or not, but I'm going to close in as well. So I'll be able to engage. And with the coolie switch right long, you can uh, send IFF and basically get on the screen here. It's going to tell you which one it is. It's really cool. There you go. This you see, SU-33. So that's one of them. Let's switch to the other target. SU-33. All right. So I got both flankers. I don't see the illusion yet. We're getting pretty close. I think I'm going to engage if the Vipers uh, didn't splash them yet. There you go, Fox-3. Let's switch to the other target. They're getting really close. Fox-3. All right, let's see if we get any hits here. And I don't see any other target. Well, not yet. We will find the solution though. Looks like they're defending. I don't know if they engage the Vipers and the Vipers are defending as well, but looks like they're somewhat defending. The combination with Navflare and NVG is kind of weird. I can work only with the Navflare or only with the NVG. The Navflare is usually better. Yeah, you can see missile trails there. Is it missile trail, all those lines? Yeah. I think they engage the Vipers. Okay, let's see if we can identify any splashes here. It's really hard to tell. Oh, there you go. That's a splash. That's definitely a splash. Yeah, that's a splash right there. Okay, so splash one. This is one out of two. And that's the other target right here. He looks like he's defending and is still up, so I'm gonna give him another Fox 3. I got only four, by the way. There we go, that's gonna get him. I don't wanna lose so much altitude, so I'm, uh, yeah, uh, well, okay, we're gonna have to keep visual. I don't wanna merge with him, so I'm just pushing him defensive like that. He's really close to the ground. There we go, splash. We got a splash. 13. I don't think that's that guy. Let's see if we can, oh, there we go. Take a look to the left-hand side there. We got, well, I see two bogeys. One of them is definitely friendly. That's for sure. 
which one did I lock? Let's IFF, see which one did I lock? It's hard to tell. While working with a radar, it's a little bit, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell. Well, that's someone here down low. Well, VID, I can definitely see it's the illusion right there. So the illusion is the one flying in a straight line right now. So let's try to pick him up. Uh, not using the radar, I'm going to use the super search mode. There we go. Oh, that's not the one. Let's try to uh, narrow it down. So we'll super search again. Narrow. There we go. That's the illusion right there. Um, yeah, we're pretty much in range, but I want to be sure. The illusion is a big plane. It's going to take a lot to take down. All right. Yeah, we can give him a Fox 3. We're not that far. Six miles. Fox 3. And we're out. So I'm going to close in on him. And if he's not going to drop, I'm going to gun him down. I'm out of air ammunition. That's it. That looks like a good track. Ooh. Yeah. If you couldn't tell, that was a hit. <laughs> but he is still flying. All right, let's form up behind him and <laughs> gun him down. Okay, let's close the distance a little bit. Guns are really cool. You're going to hear the sound effect on that thing. It's it's really cool. Yeah, we're getting closer. Wow, the flickering lights. Yeah, let's work only with a nav flare. You see how clean it is? So the NVG picks up all this uh, light. The nav flare is a little bit more subtle that way. All right, guns. Oh, that was too low. Oh, that sound is... Yeah, that was it. Let's spray it all. There we go. <laughs> That's so fun. Yeah, a lot of light coming through the NVGs while you're working with them. So it's really hard to tell. But the nav flare is really clean. Okay, I did a little bit of a turn here just to put myself on a somewhat accurate, uh, you know, approach to strike those targets. So we're getting ready here with uh, air to ground. And let's turn on the targeting pod real quick. Well, we have it on the middle screen there, but I'm going to use the right one uh, just so it'll be more comfortable for me to see the HUD. So there we go. And now you can, you know, coolly switch up. You can go through the waypoints. So it's going to go first to the first waypoint. That's why it's black. And the second, ooh. So the situation has been escalated, as you can see. After our engagement, they decided to engage uh, our side to the, uh, to the friendly side of the border, to our side. So... They're now engaged with the uh, Iskandar ballistic missiles. So yeah, the situation has been escalated. My mission is still remained the same. I'm going to engage with those two GPUs. Uh, just setting it up right here. I'm going to drop them one by one on those uh, targets. Uh, but now we have another mission on our hands. is to hunt down those uh, Iskandar site. They're probably going to relocate, obviously, after that engagement. I cannot engage them right now. I got only the ammunition to engage those uh, early warning stations. As you can see, this is one dome right here. That's one of them. I'm designating the target now, and uh, that's it. I'm just going to put myself in a somewhat of a straight approach. It's going to be simple as that. Just fly in, drop the bomb, laser on, and the bomb will do its thing. But uh, yeah, now we're going to have another situation that we're going to have to come back here. With what jet, would you reckon, to come back to destroy a whole Iskandar site? There's a lot of them there. So, I don't know. We'll see. Got another mission now, and the situation now is being escalated. And the nav flare looks awesome. Look at that. See, I can fine tune it here with the brightness and the contrast just to see the textures of the ground. And I like it. You see the light leak from the small village to the left side, uh, right side of the hut there. There we go. I like to redesignate just to be safe, so I'm dropping on the right location. But overall, you don't need to be that accurate with the designation because it's a laser guided bomb so as long as you're around the target you're probably gonna be good no you no need to worry there you can be too far off obviously but as long as you're in the vicinity of the target and you're and you're guiding the bomb with the laser yeah the bomb can somewhat maneuver so you're good but i like to be accurate that way just to make sure you know it's gonna make it easier on the target as well and if for some reason my laser gonna malfunction i'm gonna be on target because it's gonna turn into a ccrp drop Getting close to the target, soon the line will drop on the vertical line right there. You're going to see a line dropping down. That's going to be the drop queue. As soon as you're going to cross, there we go. As soon as you're going to cross the flight vector, uh, this is where I'm going to drop the bomb. So I'm going to hold the pickle button right now. I'm holding it down and bomb away. Slightly turn to give somewhat of an angle to the targeting pod and the laser is on. 
not like the Viper, you don't need to hold the laser uh, queuing, whatever it is that you use. You just need to press it and it's going to automatically, you know, it's going to laze, it's going to leave the laser on until you're going to shut it off. So that's actually comfortable while, you know, doing hotel stuff, you can, whatever you need to do. Well, right now you can do a lot of stuff because you still need to redesignate that, that target, but I'm, you know, fine tuning it all the way in. It's going to look so cool. You're going to see the paveway coming in and striking the target. It's really, oh, let's look at both screens, actually. I haven't thought of that. I know I shouldn't have both screens here, but it's cool. There you go. Sai coming in from the up left corner there. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, undesignate. And now let's turn back around. Night vision can go on now. And I'm going to turn back around and strike the other target, which is another kind of a, it's not the same kind, but it's another kind of a early warning radar. So let's turn back around. And I'm going to take my time. The, the area is basically clear, other than those uh, Iskandar, whatever. But other than that, I don't have a lot to worry about. Okay, let's redesignate. Let's see if we capture the right target. Take a look at the targeting part here. Yeah, th this is it. Now we can designate it. There we go, it's designated. Sometimes it will jump, it will designate like uh, the wrong place. You just hit designate again. And it's gonna show you the correct the correct flight path there we go see it is somewhat close so I'm breaking a little bit more and reducing my speed eight miles yeah, I don't know I'm pretty high 20 21,000 feet so I'm turning in fast because I don't want to I don't want to overshoot the target and then do another pass so pulling a little bit harder it should be somewhere around there between that road and that airfield right there it should be somewhere around there let's see there we go there we go right next to the road okay let's level off make sure that we are on target and the the drop queue is going to come really soon here oh let's redesignate again i kind of miss it there we go here the drop queue is coming in, hold the pickle button, and bomb away. Laser on, and just fine tune it, and you know, keep it on the target. And again, you're going to see the paveway coming in, striking from, and we're going to take a look at both screens because it looks so cool in uh, black and white there. Yeah, it looks way better here. And look at the glare around it. The targeting part, like the visuals that you get from the targeting part, look really, really good. That looks great. Here it comes. There we go. Pow. <laughs> Impact. All right. Both targets are destroyed, and now we're going to go head back home and... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen, but we have another mission on our hands to take out this uh, Iskandar sites. What jet should I use for that? Alright, anyway, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.